Greetings. Today I want to speak to you concerning unlovely image making. Many, many people are responsible for unlovely image making because they are actually the image maker. Now, our minds can mold and make and shape. And the Bible speaks of the mind as the pattern. And so your thoughts is what is shaping your world. Whatever thoughts you entertain and you make it the most more dominant part of your day. That is how you will actually go to bed and how you will awake. And that is why your unlovely image making is what is giving you the results in your life that are not satisfying to you that is making you unhappy that is making you feel depressed that is making you feel frustrated and stressed out because of the unlovely image making that is going on within you so it's like if you have a factory whatever product that gonna come from that factory have to do with the ingredients and whatever is made in that factory okay so too with us we have a brain and the brain is a transmitter and a receiver of frequency and everything is energy vibration and frequency and whatever you vibrate upon that is what will become your results so your outer environment is a reflection of your inner environment. So your unlovely image making is what is giving you the distorted image of yourself. That is why many people have self-doubt. That is why so many people have the, real, the wrong self-image. Look at the amount of women who are taking BBL and all the other things that they're doing to their bodies. Look at those who are bleaching. It is because of the way they feel about themselves and the image they hold about themselves and the image making, the unlovely image making that has been taking place within their minds. You see, many people only see their image in the mirror but they fail to realize that this whole entire world it's a mirror and they fail to realize that within their thinking within their consciousness their awareness of being it is a mirror also and it's always reflecting what is going on within so my brother my sisters my encouragement to you is to start to have lovely image making start to have lovely things to say about yourself and to think about yourself and about the world and about others. So everything that's happening in your life, you're the cause of it. You see, very few people in this world is familiar with the law of cause and effect. As a matter of fact, many people are not familiar with the laws that governs all of humanity and the laws that governs the universe, especially if you grew up in an environment whereby you're just religious and superstitious and you read one book and you believe well you know everything and you have all the truth and there's no other truth and you tie yourself to some false identity then you will not really realize that the results that you're getting in your life that you're the cause okay and when people separate themselves from god and believe god is something different than themselves and they do not know that the very life in them is god then those are the people who would have these negative or uh, these unlovely image making going on in their life and so when you look at religious people and their unlovely image making is always something that is destructive it's always something that is negative they want the world to this to be destroyed they, they always go back to Sodom and Gomorrah and believe was too literal city and God born those city because people live in a certain way and they fail to realize that it's just teaching you about the mind. It is teaching you about the negative thinking and positive thinking and how the mind really works and how you have to be in control of your mind. Be in control of your image making. You are the image maker.
You are the Lord and Master of your destiny. So my brother, my sister, do not look any further, but to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. And that is what will help you to shape your life more perfectly by having more lovely image making in terms of more having more lovely thoughts instead of those unlovely thoughts. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much. I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense to you and really resonates with you and you haven't subscribed already, I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, you like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me on Black Mad Guru, and you can also do so on Rumble.com. Also, if you like to have a one-on-one, -on -one, maybe you can reach out to me by way of email, and if the terms and conditions very much fit you, we can definitely have a great time together. Also, if you like to take my $20 course, it's available on my page, and it's called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to create your reality consciously and along with that I have a bonus course on self-concept and I'm gonna do another course on self-concept for you because you can never have enough information available to you on self-concept okay because that's the most important thing so if it is strongly related to check it out I definitely encourage you to do so also before I come to close I just want to remind you that we have a PayPal and if it is strongly related to support that the link is always down below so with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I just want to say peace, love you all, um, out. Um.